Okay, let's practice converting small word problems into equations and statements. We have a number plus 12 is 20. A number is some unknown. We're going to use a variable for that. So let's start with a. a, a number, plus 12, plus 12, is 20. Is is an equal sign, 20. A number, a, plus 12, equals 20. For our second example, 9 less than twice a number is 33. This one's a little bit tricky because we actually have the number at the beginning that's going to be taken away from something else. So we have to recognize that in order to have 9 less than something, we have to have that something first. So let's put that in first. We have our twice a number. So that's 2 times some variable. Twice, say, x. 2 times x. 9 less than that would be 9 taken away from that. And that's going to be 33, is 33, equals 33. So 9 less than 2 times some number equals 33. And then example C, $20 was one quarter of the money spent on the pizza. So $20 represents one quarter of some amount we don't know. So if the amount we don't know is, say, y, so y is our variable, $20 was one quarter of that. So twenty dollars is the same thing as one quarter of that missing number. So twenty dollars is equal to one quarter of our unknown amount of money. Okay, let's get a little more practice converting word problems into equations and inequalities. In this example we have Shyam who worked for two hours and packed 24 boxes. We need to know how much time he spent packing one box. So we know he worked for two hours, and in that two hours, he packed 24 boxes. That means that 24 times some amount of time per box was equal to two hours. Now we can see that since we're going to have a pretty small, num pretty small amount of time per box, we should probably convert our hours into minutes. Otherwise, we're going to get a weird fraction. So two hours is 120 minutes. That means that we have 24 times some amount of minutes is equal to 120 minutes. So our equation then states that 24 times whatever the time he took per box is going to be equal to the complete time for the project. We can solve that equation by dividing both sides by 24, and we'd get x is equal to 120 over 24 minutes. We can simplify the equation by 2, that gives us 60 over 12, or 5. So it took him 5 minutes to pack each box.